Hi, this is Ryan with Better Tattooing. Today, we're gonna go a little bit more in depth about how the needles go into the skin when you have a tattoo. All right. Okay, now that that is over with, gotta love those animal sounds, eh? Let's do a quick one here. I've been talking a lot about a bunch of other things and it just seems weird that I haven't done something a little bit more technical. Just give you a visualization, you know, because most people are going to have an idea about how these things work or why we do what we do, but they don't really have all of the information. This is one of those ones, like how, how the needles actually go into the skin when a machine is running them. Um, I think it's like the biggest thing to focus on this is probably the skin aspect, right? Because you already know about the reciprocating, oscillating motor, you know, drive electromagnetism that pushes the needle up and down but like, how does it react with the skin well let's take a peek here this kind of is gonna we'll just talk a bit, a bit about timing how's that we'll just we'll do multiple videos on this it's probably pretty difficult to put it in you know, five to ten minutes exactly what's gonna happen with this stuff but anyways we have a tattoo needle that's being uh it's going up and down right mark, 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 mark getting it to pass through that top layer of the skin and try to put the pigment, you know, into a place where it actually become permanent. So, down here. <clears throat> now as this is striking the skin, the skin isn't static. It's not like this, right? It doesn't just sit still and not move. As the needle is coming into contact with it, the, uh, the skin is actually absorbing that and slowly creates a bit of an undulation, right? I always like that word, undulate. Um, well, cause it to reverberate out. Like if you drop a rock into, you know, a bit of water or something, you always see that it creates waves as it goes out. And on a 2D representation with this, we're gonna be able to see, you know, what kind of looks like a motion. But realistically, if we're looking at the pinpoint down center, you're gonna see these arcs slowly radi radiating out, much like waves in a pond when you do throw a rock. And these uh, are different elevations, right? They get lower as they go out. And that, that's what's actually happening to the skin. It's elasticity is, you know, bouncing back, pushing back against some of the needles. And after that initial strike, it'll actually end up going through the skin, right? It's almost like it hits twice for it to get through. Um, so what does this have to deal with actually getting the ink in the skin? Well, depending on how fast your machine is running, right? This has X, like CPM cycles per minute. Or we could do cycles per second, whichever one we want to do. We'll do second because it's going to be a smaller number. And your skin, right, is going to be, we'll do this x cycles per second. And the skin is going to be y, <laughs> right, cycles per second. <clears throat> if these are timing up, what you're doing is you're getting the skin actually on that undulation as you're moving forward is coming back up to meet with the needle coming down, right? And if that timing is correct, what you're gonna have is the ability to move much quicker because you're, the machine and the body are working in, in synchronicity, right? They, they're gonna be hitting together, which is gonna increase the needle's ability of actually being able to penetrate through the skin. This is kind of where like um, coil machines seem to work a bit better, at least in my opinion, is because they can run a bit faster. Um, loaded or unloaded, they just are really consistent. Um, and they don't have that hang that you have to account for um, with rotary machines, right? When, when rotary machines move around, it's kind of like a, a cam, right? We have our cam in here and the needle is coming down. As it moves around, it's always going to have these hang points where the machine is like turning past an apex. And when it does, it has to adjust that cam, right? <clears throat> As that cam is being adjusted, the needle is going to kind of wibble wobble. So as the cam comes down to pull it back up, it has to hang, right? As it hangs, it stays in the skin. It makes it really hard to time or create decent timing between that undulation of the skin and the reciprocation of the needle that's coming down. So you're usually forced to move much slower with rotary machines to get the same effect um, than you would with, um, with an actual coil machine. So that's it, we'll just do number one, how's that? Now, it's, it's super early in the morning um, and it's cold, it's like 36 degrees here Fahrenheit, it's, it's like four, it's, it's a little chilly. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically it. Like, how's it work? It, 
it, the needles themselves are not always just going to be working on a static thing. Right? And this is something to think about when you're running a machine. This is why we'll play around with voltages or throw lengths, things like this, because having a different like waveform, right? We'll do waveform on this of the skin is going to be able to um, allow you to create different like techniques. Uh, different you know gradations different like ways of like packing color more like effectively and this is going to work as well with your stretch right so usually what you're going to have is we'll have our waveform i need to actually come up with this waveform x and y right um and then we're going to have our stretch we'll just go right over top of this we have our machine speed ah there we go so this is like our first part of whatever equation that we're going to be using to like define how needles are actually going to go into the skin. This is like one block, right? This is those external things that we're going to be able to actually like apply to an individual when we're doing this. Uh, and the next one is usually going to be their biology, right? Like their skin tensile strength, um, their age, you know, like level of moisture, uh, transepidermal uh, water loss that's coming off of it. Those things are going to really influence how the needles go into the skin as well. That's probably a bit too technical to get into right at this point. Plus, you know, I'm kind of making up this equation at the same time, which seems fun to me. I love science, right? Better tattooing with science. Um, but that's it. So think about that when you're going to go and do a tattoo. Think about that 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 feel, right? We're always told like you got to feel how the lines are going through. This is usually what that feeling is when that skin is hitting the needle in good rapid succession. It's almost like hitting a speed bag, right? Um, and it sounds right and it feels right. This is why. So number one's done. That's it. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, whatever. I don't give a shit. Uh um, and that's it. Yeah. Ryan from Better Tattooing, signing off.